Uh, hello friends and dear parents, uh, today in this time of COVID-19 pandemic, we all are very confused about uh, how to go about the immunization schedule and the vaccination practices uh, while we have to maintain a social distance and how do we go for our little uh, ones uh, to, the, uh, to visit our pediatrician for routine health checkups. So here we have uh, today with us very famous pediatrician from uh, Delhi who is going to guide our parents on how to go about a routine pediatric visit uh, for uh, uh, typical routine concerns and uh, what are the guidelines uh, as per recommended by Ministry of Family Health and Welfare and WHO about the immunization practices uh, and how to go about them. Hello friends and parents. I am Dr. Parvinder Singh Narang, Associate Director, Max Hospital. Today, when we are all in the grip of coronavirus infection, more than 25 lakh cases have happened with 177 deaths. We are going through a very bad phase where a lot of healthcare is suffering. Our children are suffering because Quite a few are missing on their vaccination. Today I am going to talk about how to proceed on with the vaccination and these guidelines are based on IAP recent guideline, Ministry of Health and WHO. We have an obligation to keep our immunization going because that is the preventable cause of diseases. Last Ebola, which happened in 2015, soon after that there was an increase of cases of measles, malaria and pneumonia. Today also, the health authorities are projecting if we do not do the vaccination or do not do the essential services, we may see the increase of these diseases. So friends and parents, first, what the doctors should do? As per the guideline, doctors should do vaccination for children up to the age of one and a half to two years and definitely for the primary series. In the hospital when the child is born we should give them hepatitis BCG and polio before discharge. The primary series of DPT, polio, Hib, hepatitis B, pneumococcal, rotavirus needs to be completed in time. And Vaccination like varicella, MMR, typhoid and uh, uh, pneumococcal are very essential. So what do you do in the clinic? You space the appointments, do primarily immunization clinic, only ask patient to come one by one with appointments and do their vaccination and make sure nobody at their family are ill or having fever. So if the child is well and the attendant who is coming is not having any fever or disease then the vaccination can be done. So as per the guideline we definitely need to vaccinate the children with the primary series and booster up to the age of one and a half to two years. Further boosters which are beyond two years can be delayed but if they by chance come for some other appointment, then you should try to complete them. Another thing very important is multiple vaccinations can be done at the same visit. There is no harm in combining two to three injections and giving them on the same visit. All precautions need to be taken to given on the separate and if given on the same arm or leg, then one inch distance is to be maintained. Now. Dear friends, guideline for parents. Parents, uh, it is important that we do not miss on the primary series because if we miss, we might see the increase of diseases in, in coming weeks or coming months. So you take appointment with your doctor. When you come to the clinic, the minimum criteria is that only one or two attendants come, preferably one and you wear a mask, you clean your hands, do important hand hygiene, keep distance and bring the child only when the child is well and the doctor will also uh, wear a surgical mask, maintain a social distance, 
may not do the anthropometry which is not essential but giving vaccination is essential so in the in the vaccination clinic the doctors need to wear a mask uh, they need to wear gloves and do the hand hygiene and similarly parents also need to wear mask and maintain the hand hygiene if we do like this probably uh, corona will also go over a time and when corona will go and there will be more children going out then they will not suffer with the communicable diseases which are vaccine preventable diseases